This is a case of a mature intumescent cataract with increased intralenticular pressure. As you can see, the bulging of the anterior capsule and pockets of fluid. Under air bubble, Triffin Blue is injected to stain the anterior capsule. Viscoelastics are being injected to make sure you have a good fill of the anterior chamber. Using a 23 gauge needle, a small puncture is made in the center of the anterior capsule and the liquefied cortex is being aspirated. Using a 62, a capsular excess is initiated, aiming for a 5.5 mm excess. Keep the rexus folded and parallel at all times to avoid the runaway. Care should be taken as this is the area it tends to extend. Extra viscoelastics are being injected to make sure you have a good fill of the anterior chamber which flattens the anterior capsule. Gentle movement of the needle is made towards the center. and the rexus is being completed. A groove is made at the limbus and using a 2.8 keratome, a clear cornea entry is made. This is useful in case we have to convert. A gentle hydro dissection is done and the nucleus is tapped at the center so that the fluid that is trapped beneath it escapes. With only aspiration, the loose cortex is aspirated first. A small trench is made at the superior quadrant of the nucleus like a burr hole. Now, in figure 2 mode, the tip of the probe is buried into the core of the nucleus and the horizontal chop is initiated and the split of the nucleus can be appreciated. Using the same hold, the second chop is also initiated and gently separated. Now each quadrant is brought into the pupillary plane using very less phaco power and high vacuum and the nucleus fragments are emulsified. You can see with good fluidics the anterior chamber is maintained. The second half of the nucleus is gently being rotated the probe is then buried into the nucleus and as you can see the nucleus slips as there is no cortex beneath and the nucleus is very mobile. Hence the terminal chop is initiated from the equator of the nucleus and then it is chopped into multiple small pieces and emulsified. As we are using the linear foot pedal, vacuum can be reduced to complete the last piece. It is good to be versatile with your left hand as it helps to guide the nuclear fragments into the phaco probe. Using the bimanual irrigation, the cortical remnants are carefully removed. Since these cases don't have much of cortex, irrigation and aspiration should be done very gently. The ports are changed and remnant cortex is being removed. Under irrigation, a single piece foldable intraocular lens is injected into the bag. Using a dialer, the trailing aptic is placed into the bag. Now you can appreciate the good centration of the IOL and the 360 overlap of the anterior capsular margin. Mild anterior capsular polishing is done and the wounds are hydrated. That marks the end of the surgery. Thank you.